Oh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see some more feature of uh, calendar type region. Uh, if you remember, we have created a calendar region over here in type of regions. Uh, this is the calendar region what we have created, and I'm go I'm going to show you some more uh, you know stuff what you can do in calendar region actually. For example, uh, let's say if you want to create an event or uh, uh, you want to create a task and you want to show that task over here in the in the in the date field you know in the exact date uh, actually for that what you can do you can uh, create that uh, obviously you can create that you have to create a form and you have to do uh, enter all the detail and you will be able to see that created event or created task over here on the given uh, date as well as you will be able to update the existing data okay so for this, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look into the data first, which table we are using. So what I have done, I go to quick edit. The highlighted region is calendar region. I'll click on it. And we get redirected to the back end of this calendar region. Here you can see we have used this uh, table. So I'm going to copy this table and I'm going to open SQL command from here and once this will get opened i'll just do select star from uh, this table okay just run this query and get the data over here so we uh, we are creating uh, we are showing this name activity name and uh, the date is nothing but the created date okay that is fine that's completely fine uh, so instead of created it better we will show activity date okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to update few of the records so that we will get uh, you know things on activity date so i'll just run a backend update query uh, just to align the data and everything this is uh, nowhere is getting used for calendar purpose but i mean for calendar uh, create purpose but i'm just going to use this activity date uh, to you know show the data and everything so I'm going to say uh, select activity date is equal to sys date uh, where let's say ID equals or ID in uh, 1 2 and 3 okay uh, let it get updated okay it got updated now i will do one more thing so you can see our activity date got active, uh, updated uh, we have three more records so what i'm going to do i'll say sys date minus one for uh, four five six four five six and just get it updated okay so now we have activity date updated over here like this that's fine so what i'm going to do here we are going to show we are going to show the name as per the activity date so i'll just do some edit of this region click on it and go to attribute here you can see that we have selected start date column as created i will select activity date instead of created date okay so just save this thing and refresh this page now you'll be able to see that okay three activity has been created on 3rd of September and other three activity has been created on I mean uh, the activity date is 4th of September now the next step what I'm going to uh, show you that how you can create another name over here let's say if you want to create activity name over here for 9th of September or for 13th of September how you can do that for that what you have to do just go to calendar okay and uh, uh, before that maybe just create a form first okay I'll show you how to create a form uh, region click on plus icon from here and go to click on page and uh, from here you choose the page type as form click on this form okay and here in the name you just copy this okay no don't copy it here just write customer uh, activity form okay uh, this is going to be a modal dialog right and here we are going to use the table as the one what we have copied this one cursed activities right 
we don't want any breadcrumb we don't want any navigation menu so keep it switched off should be fine click on next and you will be able to see that a page will get created with page number three okay so this page number three is nothing but okay here we have to mention the primary key of that form or you can say primary key of this table and the primary key is id uh, that's why we got this id by default if you will look into the ddl of this table you will find that id is the primary key that's why it got auto assigned fine click on create page button so a form got created you have seen that a form got created but you will not be able to run this page because this is a modal dialog page if you try to run it you'll get an a message that dialog pages cannot be run directly from page designer review this page by running a page that launches this dialog what uh, does it mean that you have to you know launch this page from some other page okay so what i'm going to show you uh, how to launch that form i'll go i'll be doing it from here in the, from the calendar now let's go to the calendar okay before going to the calendar i will show you one thing wait uh, here you can see this is page number three okay so now the form what we have created is actually a page number three and we are going to use this uh, page for uh, you know creating the calendar activity or uh, updating the calendar activity fine okay now let's go to page two or click on quick edit and click on this calendar region uh, here you are in the calendar region it is loading okay so in the calendar region go to attribute and if you'll scroll down you'll find that you have two uh, options create link and view slash edit link for now i'm going to use this view slash edit link just click on this play, uh, this no link defined button when you click on it you'll get an option to write the page number now you can select the page number from here or you can directly write like this okay and here uh, as we are trying to view the data so for that we have to pass an id correct so from here select it and this is the id column which is primary key i will select this one and and this is the column what is which is getting used in the uh, calendar report okay so i'll just select these two things click on ok and save fine so we have created a link to view the data now refresh this page and you see that calendar is as it is but now you are able to click on uh, that particular activity or that particular e uh, event so now if i click on it a form will get opened and you have all the information about this thing you have activity date and and everything fine so this form got created automatically because we have selected a page as a form type you're getting cancel delete apply change everything don't worry we will create all these things manually also but yeah i just wanted to show you how to create a form with a uh, default form page right uh, we are getting this row number i think uh, let's see what this row number is uh, if i click on it i will land to page number three and here you will see that row number version okay i think uh, okay let's go to the table and see what we have row number version okay yeah there, there is some field called row number version and it should be you know filled so that's fine let it be and here we have type id uh, we have name and everything now let's say if you want to update activity date instead of uh, 3rd of september let's see if i just select and will make it as 9th of september and just make apply change you can see it got created over here this the event got shifted from here to here because we have act, updated the activity okay so now you have an option that you can update the existing activity <coughs> fine now other uh, another thing what i want is i want to create an activity from this calendar itself for that what we can do just go to page designer and here this is page number three i want to go to page number two because uh, in page number two we have this calendar region created 
uh, and in this page calendar if I go to attributes I will I will create another link uh, you know from here and this is going to be a create link and this create link will get redirected to page number three only but will make clear cache for page number three okay it means we are not passing any value in page three we're just getting redirected to page three and when ID uh, the ID uh, item which is created already created in page number three will be blank in that case we will get a form which where we will be able to create a record okay I'll show you what I'm trying to say just click on OK save and uh, refresh this page fine you have refreshed it now uh, you can see we are able to click on the cell the blank you know uh, cell so when you click on this one you are getting this blank page fine when you click on this one you are getting this blank page fine it means now we have an option to create uh, you know the cal uh, create the calendar event so for example now if I'll say row number two type I, I'll select as phone call name I'll select as test uh, test activity one yeah and description let it be as it is activity date should come by default let's say I'll, I'll just select 11th of September owner is let's say uh, I'm the owner location let it be blank created date should be today's date created by should be my name updated date should be today's name date uh, should be my name right when I click on create button you will see that a new activity got created over here with with uh, this name test activity one so this is how you can create the event or the things in your calendar directly yeah you don't have to go to the report and stuff like that you don't have to create a tabular report like this okay if you have a calendar region you can create the activity you can update existing activity for example I want to update this cold call I will just click on it and here the activity date is 4th of September I'll make it let's say 12th of September and I'll just make apply change uh, yeah so here it got updated now you, you'll be able to see that okay you have these many activities which needs to be done on this date so this is about calendar uh, region and how you can create the event how you can update the event let me know if you have any question any concern any confusion any suggestion please let me know in, in the comment box uh, i'll try to solve that that's it for today thanks for watching i have i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you